not, not, well, not, you know what? If you call out the street, you're going to have to call the street. That's not going to be able to get to the shore. I can't really try it. It's very hard to get to the shore.
and from the province of Ontario, representing the Premier of Ontario, the Honourable Michael Chayan, Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. The Honourable Margaret Best, Minister of Health Promotion. And Mr. John Glory, Leader of the Opposition. Ms. Kara Mary O'Hagan, Senior Policy Advisor, Office of Honorable Michael Chen. Sorry, Michael Bryan, Minister Aboriginal Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Mark Povich, Director of Communications, Metropolitan Services. <laughs> and the City Councilors, Ms. Janet Davis Ward, 31. Mr. Joe Mahil, Ward 21. Mr. Peter Mosesin, Ward 5. Mr. Kyle Ray, Ward 27. Mr. Michael Thompson, Ward 37. And Mr. John Monagas, Director of Communication. Thank you uh, very much, everyone, for that warm welcome. Isn't our MC doing it? <laughs> publishes a wonderful magazine about Iranian Canadian women, uh, particularly based in the Toronto region. And I, I, I'll come back to that in a moment. First of all, I have to do my duty and acknowledge my colleagues in government, uh, minister, members of parliament, representatives of the federal government. Uh, leader of the official opposition, Consul General, other Consul Generals, my colleagues on Council, I think City Council Adam Giambroni uh, uh, was not mentioned, all of my colleagues. I'm delighted to be here today and welcome you to Toronto City Hall at this tremendous celebration of the talent, wisdom, uh, insights and excellence of the national ethnic press in Canada. And I do want to thank Tom Saris and his board for their leadership and support. <laughs> One of uh, uh, the uh, publications interviewed me while we were walking around and asked me why the ethnic media mattered in Toronto and in Canada. And I said it's because of two things. I said, first of all, we are blessed uh, in Canada and in Toronto in particular because we celebrate the fact that, that all of us have roots uh, except the Aboriginal people from somewhere else and we celebrate those roots and the ethnic media has a very important role in allowing all of us in our own languages to remember who we are and where we're from but it has a very important second role and the second rule is to bring the news about our community, our city, and our country to everyone uh, in their own language in a way they can understand. So to me, uh, the importance of the ethnic media in this country, particularly uh, the over 150 publications and members in Toronto, is it allows us to remember who we are uh, and where we came from, but celebrate who we are today. We have a tremendous gift in Toronto that I don't believe is matched anywhere in the world. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to mention our MC and her publication, uh, which celebrates Iranian Canadian women. That's an extraordinary thing. And before I was elected, uh, I was a lawyer, and part of my practice was actually acting for refugee claimants from Iran, including women. And I know the tremendous uh, hardships that people fled from after the, the revolution in Iran in the late 1980s. So to see a publication that celebrates the particular struggles of women and their rewards I, uh, and, and their opportunities here in Canada and in Toronto, I think says a lot about who we are as Canadians and Torontonians. We welcome everybody, we respect everyone, and it's not simply about tolerance, although tolerance is a virtue. It's about mutual understanding and it's about growing stronger together. And I'm very pleased, uh, along with Tom, to invite people to this reception because I think those are the principles that we celebrate here. 
Um, in Toronto, we, we've decided to plan very aggressively for the success of our city in the 21st century. And that plan is called the Agenda for Prosperity. There's four simple principles. And two of them are very relevant tonight. One is called Global Toronto. And it's about building on the diversity of our city for success in the world. And recently, in support of that global vision, uh, Councillor Kyle Ray is also here and I led a small mission to uh, Madrid. And in Madrid, I was interviewed by one of their newspapers, uh, El País. Uh, they have a column, Lunch With. So they had lunch with David Miller. I commend all of you to have a lunch with column. It's great if you're the person being interviewed because they buy you lunch. <laughs> of course, then they write how much it costs. The headline for that column, uh, if I understand the Spanish correctly, and I just got the article today, is says the world is going to become like Toronto uh, in its successful diversity. And that's what the Spanish newspaper wrote about our city. And that's one of the reasons in Toronto we're trying to focus on our success globally. The world is in Toronto, 